Hey guys, we are here in Tampa for the New York Pro. The finals just finished and I am going to quickly wrap up the finals for the female division for our Femflex Friday show. I'm gonna start with women's bodybuilding. Um, as I anticipated in the morning, Leah Danny won. She was in a great condition, really nice and dry and full. She needs a little bit more legs, but uh, out of the whole lineup of unfortunately only five uh, competitors, she was the best one with the best conditioning, best dryness and everything. So she secured her spot for the Olympia in the end of this year. Second place was LaDawn McDay. Um, my opinion is that if LaDawn was harder and tighter, she would have hands down uh, taken this, uh, this title and her qualification for the Olympia. She was uh, soft. Uh, in this show so if she was a little harder she probably would have been able to, to take that place unfortunately uh, Tamara Makar finished on thir in third place and Shehan um, in great shape she always comes with really nice full muscle bellies and uh, uh, I liked her makeup her presentation her skin looked good um, everything was great and um, Wendy Sanchez uh, wrapped up this top five. She was the last one. Uh, she's from Colorado. She just uh, turned pro in 2019. I think this was her pro debut, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, congratulations, ladies, for your placing in the women's bodybuilding division. I am going to move over to figure. And as I was telling you there, um, there was a battle between Maria Diaz and uh, Sheila Shoemaker. Um, eventually Maria uh, came on top so she won the title um, I like both their bodies uh, she lays has a lot of uh, muscle maturity and density I would say her lines are pretty uh, I feel like on top uh, Maria looks a little bit more massive because her rib cage is bigger uh, whereas she lays is, is she has like a smaller more petite frame uh, but um, all in all, they were both like unbelievable competitors. Oh, and one more thing, when they turned to the back, Maria's glutes, the insertion, uh, the insertions, and um, just the shape of the glutes just flew better. So probably these are the points that uh, that pull her in front ahead of Shilais. Uh On third place, we had Latoya Farley. Beautiful, beautiful body, beautiful presentation. Um, fourth place was Jessica Huete. Huete, I think I'm saying it rightly. Uh, and then fifth was Desiree Alfarez. I already mentioned how cute I think she is and her presentation and she's just like a sweetheart. I really love uh, love the way she presents herself. But Jessica was definitely in amazing shape as well as Latoya. And this was your top five for the night. Um, looking forward to see what next pro show will bring uh, in the figure uh, department on stage. Uh, next division would be bikini and then um, we had the um, Romina Basualdo winning here um, She I can have to say that you know her presentation was beautiful. She had a tall package her her glutes were amazing But I mean all top five was amazing. They were talking about bikini the moment they turn around You know everybody you cannot make it to this level unless you have perfect insertions um, and perfect glutes and shape and all of that work that needs to be put in. So Romina Basualdo was first, um, one of my favorite of all times, Ashley, Ashley Kaldwasser. She was second. I really like Ashley. It's like the combination of her exotic look with a long, black, smooth hair, beautiful uh, red lipstick, the way she presents herself. She's got a little sass in the way she moves. I like all of that. Um, Again, she came after three strong wins in, um, I think she got Wasatch Warrior, Pittsburgh, and Night of Champions in California. And she's got second place this time around. Already qualified for the Olympia. I'm sure we're gonna see her there shining as always. Uh, Gabrielle Macias was third. Uh, I really like her look and the way she presented herself. Very sensual and then, um, her beauty and everything, the presentation is just like, it exudes that sensual uh, aspect that I was talking about. Um, I bet she's Latina. <laughs> um, fourth place was Jessica Wilson, amazing shape as well. Um, and then uh, Jessica actually got second at the California Night of Champions earlier this year. So um, comes to no surprise that she was in top five. 
And fifth place was actually somebody I mentioned, uh, Emily Plager. Uh, she's really young. She just turned pro internationals last year, but I really, I really, she stood out with with uh, with her youth, the beauty, the freshness of the body, the beautiful lines, the <clears throat> the way everything flows. So she stood out to me. Uh, I did not anticipate that she's going to be in the top five or six. Uh, I said she's somebody to look out for, uh, but she made it. She got fifth place. So congratulations, Emily. And this is our top five in uh, bikini. Moving over to women's physique, there were only six competitors. And this is where uh, I have um, wrongly anticipated that Sharonica Hanton uh, will win. Um, I have to be honest that, you know, Alisa Kisling, she's got an amazing body and she's the one who, who won. Her dryness, her conditioning, her striations, her posing, uh, they were all impeccable. Um, she came in, she came with a boom, she made a strong impact and she totally deserved to win that place. I think if Sharonica was a little harder, she probably would have gotten the title, but she was a little on the soft side, especially compared to Alisa. So um, she's, won she's lost to her. Uh, third place, we had uh, the South Korean Yuna Kim on her pro debut. Congratulations, Yuna. She looked amazing. Uh, fourth place was Julia Whitesell, who just got out of St. Louis with a seventh place finisher. Uh, fifth place was Claudia Arroyo. She didn't compete since 2018, so it's been a while since we saw her. She was fifth. But congratulations, ladies. Great job, Alisa. Great job, Sharonica. We're really excited to see you at the Olympia stage. Wellness. This was an interesting class because um, Two weeks ago, uh, there was a battle between Angela and Yarishna, and um, Angela won in Pittsburgh two weeks ago, but this time around, Yarishna won. Um, they are both amazing, uh, amazing competitors. I feel like uh, Angela's glutes um, are a little bit more rounded because her upper part is a little uh, more developed than Yarishna's. Um, whereas Yorishna, I feel like she bends a little bit more, a lot in front and then her pose, of course, it is extremely muscular, but the, the, the glutes look different. They look, it almost looks like a, like a bikini pose on her. Uh, but obviously with just more and more size, uh, they both have unbelievable small waist. Um, Angela, like she's posing her vacuum. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. They, they both beautiful. So, um. They were already qualified this year, all the wellness, uh, top two wellness in every pro show qualifies for the Olympia. So they were already qualified two weeks ago, but um, we got it again. In um, third place, we had uh, Devon Martin, um, looking amazing. Fourth place, I'm really proud of Renee Harshi from Arizona. Uh, she got seventh place in Pittsburgh in a tough lineup. And then uh, and this is like 12, 14 goals in this lineup again. She placed even higher. She got fourth place. So there's some points there for the Olympia. She really, really stands her ground when it comes to, to the wellness class. She's made for this. Um, fifth place was Sunny Andrews with beautiful presentation. She's from Florida. Of course, um, this was our top five um, in wellness. This is a division that's extremely exciting. I personally love to watch it. Um, there was one moment, I gotta tell you this, guys, when uh, Angela uh, Borges turned around and she did her back pose, and I think accidentally, she flexed one of her glutes, and it was almost like a, like a glute roll. Like you could see the striations from the bottom brrr, all the way up. Even the judges were like, wow, <laughs> I was right behind them. That was beautiful, I was like, I like that. <laughs> so. I feel that this division is going to be extremely popular and uh, it is already very popular. Uh, there were a lot of cheers in the crowd. Um, it's very spectacular. It's nice to look at. And for the girls who have really nice and thick muscles uh, on the legs and glutes, this is a perfect division. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Even if today I'm not here with Landa Murray, uh, she did not come with us on this trip, but next time I hope I'll have her so we can both get uh, our opinion on opinions on camera for you. So thank you again for watching FemFlex Friday from uh, Tampa, 
New York Pro, Alina Popa for Wings of Strength. Thank you, guys.